Hi, Jake Middleton here. Today I wanted to talk to you about how do you make a pillow? So this is something that uh, may or may not have perplexed you for a while. Um, certainly if you're in the furniture industry, this question has come up uh, more than on one occasion. So I wanted to show you how you can actually make a very nice pillow, not inside SolidWorks, but in the newest addition to the family, SolidWorks Industrial Designer. So I'm going to go and actually create that uh, pillow right here in Industrial Designer, and I'm using the freeform uh, method or the freeform technique, which basically means that we start with a block more or less of clay, and we can kind of move around the points as we want. So you kind of saw at the beginning there, I'm trying to make this pillow um, that's kind of curved and very detailed, um, and it has a sort of ring on the outside. So that's what I'm making here very easy to go and select the points that you want and kind of move them around. It also selects right through the geometry, which is really nice. So you can actually select the points on the top and bottom and very easily get that sort of ring around the outside uh, all the way around, which would have been a task very difficult to do in, uh, in other programs. Now, Industrial Designer actually allows you just to kind of push and pull on any of the points that you want. So you can very easily get this sort of organic look this uh, material or fluffy look just by grabbing the points and kind of moving them around. Again, very, very useful uh, to make something organic or something uh, fluffy or pillow or made of cloth. Now this is one of my favorite features called the Arc Tool, which uh, basically allows you to go and bend the shape uh, to any arc. So once you kind of have the basic shape, you can make it curved of it as if it's kind of being pushed into the corner there uh, of, of a couch or whatnot. So again, you can grab any of the points and depending on the view that you're looking at you'll actually be pulling them more or less into the Z or into the Y um, etc. So by looking at the model in different angles you can actually grab different uh, chunks of points and you get these different effects. So this is actually looking really nice. I'm just going to kind of pull out some of the areas. I can actually grab individual faces um, of this pillow too to kind of push them in or out um, to give it again that sort of full look. So you can again preview your pillow, see where you're going, what it looks like. So it looks like I've got some creases here on the end where the edges of the pillow actually kind of fold in. So I'm going to use the crease tool here to actually give it a really nice sharp corner there. So it actually looks like the pillow or the fabric is bending in there. So again, the crease tool is very handy to give a nice sharp uh, corner there. And then you can just go and kind of push around uh, the material again to kind of make it look like it's indented there. Now one thing you're going to notice is that with Industrial Designer, it's a lot of just kind of trial and kind of playing with it. So it's not uh, extremely scientific, it's really just kind of pushing it around and making it look right. Again, these are often concepts uh, that we want to get down or organic shapes, so we're not uh, you know, giving them actual dimensions for two inches or three inches, but we're just kind of making it look and fit right, um, which is a lot of times just all that you want it to do anyways, and Industrial Designer gives you those tools to be able to do that. So this pillow is looking pretty good, but one thing that uh, <clears throat> you want to do is kind of make that top edge look nice, and also the sides here. I actually can kind of turn them and grab whole chunks of data and turn those or rotate them, which is something really uh, extremely unique, right, to industrial designers to be able to rotate these whole chunks in there. So this is looking pretty good. Again, you can preview it in different sort of sketches um, to kind of look sketch or graphite, just give it a nice uh, look. And then you can actually go and export this pillow right into SolidWorks. So it opens right inside of SolidWorks. Again, I'm using a step file um, to bring it into SolidWorks. It's just my personal favorite. Opens up beautifully, doesn't have any errors or anything. And just to take a look at the beautiful surfaces, we can turn on the zebra stripes here, see how beautiful these surfaces are. And of course, we can go and apply some nice uh, texture to it um, to kind of see what that will look like. So I'm going to turn on the shadows and perspective and also ambient occlusion. And this just makes it look beautiful. And that's how you make a pillow in SolidWorks Industrial Designer. I'm Jake Middleton. Thanks for watching.